Good morning, Choctaw. I'm Sam. And I'm Angelique. And you're watching Tribal, Tribal News. News. On this week's show, we'll have the opportunity to see the progression of the girls and boys basketball team. Afterwards, we get to experience the modern sport of axe throwing at the Ratchet Hatchet. The girls basketball team is on the same wavelength of success. They plan to play every game like it's their last. I wanted to do basketball because, um, actually, I didn't really want to do basketball. Coach Bowman is the one that actually got me into playing basketball, and now it's my favorite sport, and I love like it. The best thing about my team is that even though we have like our ups and downs, we still try to manage to work together. And even though they give me a headache, sometimes I still love them. My favorite game was against Bay High the other day because it was fun and we were playing as a team. And we were just having fun. It was just like we were playing. It's my favorite because I had 18 points that game and all my family was there. And I just played good. And I felt like we did good as a team. My advice to somebody playing basketball would be just have fun with it, but listen to your coaches and listen to people, your elders, because you think that they're crazy, they know what they're talking about. I'd be yelling at these freshmen, they think I'm crazy. You will always get criticism from any coach that you play with, but you always have to keep your head, your head up and stay strong no matter what. And my advice to give you guys for basketball is, uh, don't give up even though it gets hard. Um, it might be stressful, but keep pushing through it. And you might get tired of all the running and everything. But uh, you get to in shape, man. It makes you a better basketball player. The boys' basketball team has high expectations for the rest of their season. Let's see what they have to say about their chances of making it to state. Hi, my name is Asa Noel. I'm a sophomore here at Choctaw High School. Uh, what my biggest strength is on the court is I can rebound. I'm a court commander. I can do pretty much anything, push the, push the pace, play defense, rebound, shoot. When I hit my free throw, I just praise God and everything. So yeah, we're going to make a big playoff push. We've been playing pretty good in practice. Uh, we can just see how far that can take us. Yo, what's up? I'm Elijah Johnson. I'm a senior here, aka Biggie. So our normal practice days, we just get a lot of shots up, you know, focus in for whoever our opponent is in the upcoming week or during that week, you know, just focusing on playing right defense, you know, talking, communicating, just make sure everybody on the same page as one team. And really my biggest role, my role for the team is, because I'm like the old head, I got to keep everybody's composure good, you know, just communicate. Like, pass my knowledge to someone else so they can know what to do while they're on the court, when, even when I'm off the court. How about I interview you? Tell us, what's it like to be a superstar? You know, um, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a superstar. I'm just a team player. I make sure everybody plays the same role I play. Right from the word's mouth, it's a team. It's about team, ladies and gentlemen. What are you looking for to most about the second part of this season? I'm just ready for this push that we're going to play in because we've been in a lot of work lately to get ourselves right, playing defense, communicating. So this next little push for this playoff run is going to be for it. Love it. Again, right from the horse's mouth. Go Big Green. We love to see our girls and boys basketball team hit the court. Keep it up. Now we get to observe the practice of axe throwing. The Ratchet Hatchet is located in downtown Fort Walton Beach, 304 Perry Avenue. We are open Monday, Tuesday, 2 to 10, Wednesday and Thursday, 2 to 12, Friday and Saturday, 2 to 2, and then we open up at noon on Sunday and close at 10. Tuesday, it's going to be $20 for all students with a student ID. So axe throwing is a little bit of uh, bowling and darts put together. It started about six years ago. Um, it's a really, really fun leisure sport. A lot of people in Canada, especially North America, I've been playing it for, um, for, for years. A lot of axe ranges in the country, um, they might not appease to the music in the venue as much. Uh, I try to put as much good music on for my groups as possible. So it's a whole ambience thing and it's aesthetic, I guess you can say. If you like a cool aesthetic, this place is really cool for you as well. Even if you just don't like throwing axes, 
Um, we have other things you can play here as well. We have other artists, we do graffiti here too. This is a safe space to do graffiti. We have a graffiti wall in the back and if you can see in the lanes, there is graffiti all in them. It's a, it's a good way to um, express yourself. I love graffiti too, so um, it's a lot of fun. I would say for all beginners, the easiest ax to start off with is gonna be our Tomahawk Trailhawk right here. The lighter the ax, the more rotation, the closer your distance is gonna be. So again, and every ax range, they're universally the same, it's one rotation. All right guys, so every single time you come to the Ratchet Hatchet and you get an hour with us, here we do a safety briefing, a very thorough, short safety briefing. So we're gonna go over the rules. So rule number one is spatial awareness. We're gonna make sure no one's in our space, okay? No one's directly behind us when we're loading our axe up. And obviously we're not gonna throw down range if anybody's down range retrieving a hatchet, okay? Second rule is we're gonna put the hatchets back where they need to go, which is on the magnets, just to minimize any accidents okay and third and last rule if you stick a hatchet in a target we do not throw two hatchets at the same time here at the ratchet hatchet just in case you throw one and it hits the blade or the handles all right so again we're going to start at the back of the throw zone with your dominant hand at the bottom of the handle the other hand's going to go over the top step one over the top of our head to make sure our blade's straight step two take a step with your opposite foot of your dominant hand and step three we're going to transfer over weight from our back foot to our front foot so one two three all right our scoring system is really simple here at the hatchet okay our scoring system goes bullseye six five four three two one so we water our boards as much as possible it just makes the board softer and and they last longer so we're going to go over just some uh, different things you can throw and then axes here we have some ninja stars we have small ninja stars and big ninja stars okay so again our coaches are always going to give you really good coaching to stick these consistently we also have other size axes. This is a big ax. Um, it's a little bit bigger than your normal size hatchet or ax, so we're going to show you how to throw this as well. Damon's gonna demonstrate this for you guys. All right, so um, this is a spear. We throw these as well, but we only throw them in lane number five and one. So we do, again, we have something cool like this, and I'm gonna show you how to throw this personally first with the spear. So, All right, so we have some uh, old school battering right here and uh, we throw these as well here at the hatchet. So uh, come in, if you like Batman, we have batterings. All right, so we have another ax that I would give to beginner throwers called the Diamond Hawk, the point. Makes it really easy to stick on all types of wood here at the ratchet hatchet. So again, this is the Diamond Hawk and we're going to show you how to throw this. Damon's gonna be our guinea pig. This is a good activity that uh, is also fun and can keep you on your toes, especially for baseball players, football players. Helps with accuracy. It's a good, again, activity, team building uh, event for all sorts of sports. Go to the Ratchet Hatchet to ax away all of your problems. Besides that, we want to congratulate the boys and girls soccer team for an outstanding season and all of the progress that they've made. Go Choctaw! We also want to wish our cheer team the best of luck at regionals and state on February 1st. Mr. Mock is quickly approaching. Side up now in Ms. Calderon's room in 1E05 to participate. Seniors, cap and gown photos are February 9th. Dress your best. Winter sports are in season. Go see basketball, weightlifting, and wrestling demolish their competition. Make sure you're still checking your school email for any end of year updates. That's all for today, Choctaw. Till next time. Till next time.